Hello guys, today we have a video about Livewire and specifically about Livewire full page components. Based on an example of a project that was sent to me and I've deleted all of the unnecessary routes and focus on two of them. So dashboard is a typical Laravel controller, but customer list is a Livewire component. So you can do a full page Livewire component totally skipping the Laravel controller. So the typical way would be you have Laravel controller, which renders the view and then in the view in the blade file you do add live wire and load live wire component where it actually is needed but the other way around is to actually trust everything to live wire component and not have laravel controller at all how does it work let's take a look in this video first visual demo which will explain why would you need that behavior so for example you have a customer list in the table and then you need to add something with the model so for example edit then you have the model window opened, which is powered by Livewire, and with bootstrap models as well. Then you edit something, dot, 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 for example, you update, and then the table is updated, the alert and all of that stuff. So that is mostly Livewire. So if you have quite a lot of such dynamic behavior on your page and you want to use Livewire for that, why not make the full page Livewire? So in the code, in the routes, we have Livewire component as kind of controller. If we go to that component, it's a pretty typical Livewire component. There's a lot of logic that I will not comment here, but it extends Livewire component, really simple. And then in the render method, you load the blade view, Livewire, and then whatever is inside. And then inside of that customer's blade, of Livewire customer's blade, then you have that dynamic behavior of wire click create, for example, a customer. Then you have model for edit and delete the customers. Then you have wire click on confirm customer removal, wire click edit, which then goes back to the live wire component itself. And then you have create, store and edit logic all within live wire component without Laravel controller. But of course, as in many things with live wire, you can reuse a lot of Laravel logic like this authorize, like customer create eloquent. So it looks almost like Laravel controller, but instead it is live wire component. So instead of creating two separate classes, you can again, trust it all to live wire only. Interesting thing here in the blade, for example, in customer's blade, there's no extend layout. There is no X admin layout or something. It just immediately starts the HTML part. So how does the layout work? In fact, in the default config live wire PHP, you can specify what layout to use for full page components. It's literally just one config value of layouts backend. And if we go to resources, views, layouts, backend, blade, it looks like this. So it's full main HTML with live wire styles, with whatever includes that are needed, with live wire scripts and other scripts on top. So in your actual live wire blade, you don't need to specify X layout or extends or something. It's all configured in here. And then for example, in customers where we have edit, we dispatch the browser event, which is then caught in the scripts blade. So backend blade at the bottom, we have include backend partial scripts. And then in that scripts blade, one of the script is this one. So you add event listener for show form and then you show the actual model, the bootstrap model, based on the event that is fired from the Livewire component with dispatch browser event. Of course, there's much more happening inside of that page and scripts and everything, but I will not comment that and I will show more because I'm not really allowed to show full code because it's not open source, it's a private project. So I just wanted to show you the full page components, how they work. In the official documentation of Livewire at rendering components, there's a whole section about full page components. So you mostly get the same thing that I've explained it in this video, just in a doc format, not that practical and maybe a few more tips you can find here. So I will link that in the description below. But my question to you is, what do you think about such full page components rendering? If you use Livewire, do you use them in your project like this? Or maybe you're planning to? And actually speaking about the plans in January, I'm planning a new course about advanced live wire. So on my teachable, I have a course for starting live wire, which I released a year ago and it was hugely popular. So I decided to dive deeper because I'm a fan of live wire myself. So I will prepare a new course, which will include also more details on full page components with examples. So if you have any questions about advanced live wire, so something not for the beginners, shoot in the comments below or email me directly povelis at laraveldaily.com and I may include that topic in the upcoming course. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.